Hello everyone, my name is Carrie. I am a full-time self-employed business owner who uses cash envelope stuffing and zero-based budgeting to manage my inconsistent and variable income. My husband and I are on a journey using cash stuffing to become debt-free and save for big savings goals. If that's something that sounds like you're interested in, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a quick cash unstuffing and repaying my credit card using the cash in my envelopes, as well as setting up my new uh, 10th wedding anniversary travel binder. We're going to be going to Las Vegas for our 10th wedding anniversary, and we've already started booking some of the plans, and we have our itinerary that we've been working on, so I'll be setting up a new travel binder for that savings challenge goal for our 10th wedding anniversary. So let's get into it. I just got my nails painted, so I want to make sure they're dry before I start. <laughs> they're mostly dry. Hopefully, they're just a little bit tacky. Hopefully, I don't screw them up. To get started, I am going to take some cash out of my $1 savings challenge here because um, this is my online spending tracker that I'm using from about the middle of August through the end of the month. These are most of the transactions that we've had so far. And I like to pay off my credit card like once or twice a month. Um, this month we're doing it twice because I have that many um, or that much transaction. So the total, our credit card total balance right now is $583.83. Plus I'm adding in an additional $60 that came out of my um, business checking account. So it's a total of $643.83 that we'll be unstuffing today. All right, so I'm gonna get $20 change. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We probably don't need all those ones for change, but we might. So last, the last unstuffing that I did, we actually used all of the ones. I think I only took out 10, so that's why I'm taking out more this time. All right, so to get started, I am going to just go down the list here. We're going to start with the food category. I'm trying to be gentle because I just got my my nails painted and I don't want them to get messed up. <laughs> um, okay, so first of all, let's calculate all of the total food items here. So I'm just going to go down the list and everything that is food related, I'm just going to add that up and we're going to take it out of this envelope. We use a combination of our credit card as well as the cash envelopes and like cash out of our envelopes because sometimes when you order on the app or you know your like mobile order to go pick up or whatever, you have to use your credit card. Uh, let's see. We have also been on this <laughs> bubble tea binge a little bit. So there's like, let me finish adding these up. There's like quite a few bubble tea charges on here, which maybe should come out of our personal spending instead of our food budget. Let's see, one, two, three of them so far in like, so basically we're going once a week. <laughs> Okay, so we're at 259.18, and I know for sure, is that right? Let me just double check this real quick. Okay, I re added it twice, so it's $243 basically. Um, I must have added incorrectly the first time. So I know for sure we do not have $243. So we're probably going to have to take a little bit of money out of a different envelope, our over budget envelope, probably. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 5, 80, 81, 82, 83. So 183. So let's just say. 
minus 183. So we're short $60. So we're just going to take all of this. And I am probably going to take some money out of extra debt because, I mean, this is a credit card payment. So that'll be 50. So I just need another 10. Let me move these up. Another $10, which will probably come out of over budget. We are consistently over budget in our food category, which I have been increasing the budget every month, or sorry, every week, a little bit here and there, and it seems like we're still a little bit over. Um, I'm recording this on the last couple of days before the end of the month, so our budget will reset and we'll do, I'll do my next cash stuffing, which will be the first cash stuffing of September. Um, but that's still something that I'm working on, is trying to figure out what our total food budget is and what we're usually spending and if we need to dial that back, because it does seem quite crazy. Right now we're spending around $300 a week. Um, the only difference is that August has five weeks in it basically, and I'm not somebody who's like a salaried employee and I don't work for anyone else, so I don't get like a magic month like most people do. All right, so let's mark off all the categories we just paid. So we can move on to the next ones. This is a large portion of our credit card bill. Typically, it is every every month. Okay, the next one is a gas, and that is for this $11, whoops, and two cents for some lawn care. Well, it was basically um, the gas that we filled up for our lawnmower. Okay, so that's eleven dollars and two cents. So I'm just going to take fifteen and give back one, two, three, four. So gas still has twenty four left, which is great. Cross this off. Next up, we will take the money out of the annual expenses. We paid $60 for our Costco membership renewal this year, and I always forget every time we go to Costco, they're like, you need a visa. And we got there, and I was like, oh my gosh, because our, our normal credit card, our Chase credit card is a MasterCard. So I had to use my business card, and that's what I'm reimbursing myself back for. Um, so you can see here our annual expenses, Costco, Amazon Prime is going to be coming out in um, September. But it is on this list too, um, see right here, because we, are, we were paying it monthly, and we're going to be switching to annual. So saving up for that. Let's see, what do we need? sixty dollars fifty so we'll get these two not so great looking fives so annual expenses still has 30 bucks in it for um, Amazon Prime which is going to be coming out next month I'll have to supercharge that a little bit next month's budget to help compensate for that expense which we just decided to switch over to annual. Up next is cell phone but first let me see are there any other no this is the only category in this there's actually only like four categories this time which is good we didn't have a whole lot of spending the last couple of weeks of um, August because well first of all we just were working a lot and doing a lot of at-home stuff, prepping for you know the change in season and all the different things that are going on now, back to school. Um, but one of the other things was that we had a lot of crazy weather here, tons and tons of rain. And so we were basically indoors for four days straight, which is great for your budget. Then you don't overspend, right? <laughs> okay, cell phones. 
let's see how much we need to take out. It's just our two cell phone bills, which my husband and I have. Should be around $90. Yep, it's usually around $90 a month, which is pretty much, yep, 50, 70, 90, what I budget for, so. So nothing left in that envelope. Subscriptions is up next, which is like Netflix, Amazon Prime right now, Pandora. And then we also have this subscription, which was is for um, a quarterly video game that my husband pays for. Um, and I totally forgot to budget for that. So I'm not sure how much money we're gonna have in this envelope, but we'll see. All right, first subscription. And then this last one. $78, basically. I will be increasing the budget for this every month, but let's see, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, Hold on, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76. Well, we're just gonna take all of it and we're just gonna be a couple dollars short, that's okay. I'm not super worried about that. We do have plenty of buffer in our checking. Um, so, we will just make do, which is good because there was this $42 over budget that I wasn't too sure we were gonna be able to cover. So, that's nice. Okay, oh, we do have one more in our white binder, and then we will switch over to our Vegas stuff, which is super exciting. Um, my husband and I, as I mentioned, are gonna be going to Las Vegas, and we have already started planning our itinerary and all the shows we're gonna see and all the things we're gonna do, places we're gonna eat, and it's gonna be so much fun. All right, we ordered from Household. Um, we actually ordered a new bulb for our refrigerator because our bulb burnt out and so $32 for a little tiny bulb that's like this big that goes in your refrigerator but hey it's specialized so you got to do it right um so we need $32 so I'm gonna take well 20 35 I'm gonna take all of this and I'm only gonna give like one dollar change because I want to make up for the couple other dollars that we were short from the um subscription category so we'll just put that in there mark this one off and then we did book our Las Vegas hotel and we're gonna go ahead and take some money from that to pay this off this is just the deposit so we're gonna be there for four nights and five days the first week of December um, so we eh, stuck so we already booked it and they did charge us $129 deposit just to, you know, make like secure the the room and stuff. So, we'll take out 120 I guess we'll take out 140. Well, yeah. Okay. Take out 140. So, what is that? 11 Yes, so we'll give $11 change. And then after this video, I am going to be doing a um, consolidation, um, like a bill swap bill consolidation. So that will be, that will consolidate some of the stuff like this and these ones and a bunch of fives and stuff like that. It needs to be done pretty badly. So Vegas still has 200. 350, 70, 80, 85, 86, so 386, which is a long ways to go <laughs> from, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out because we're gonna be moving this into its own binder. Basically what I did was I took, I wrote down, you know, each of these um, things that we need to pay for, hotel shows, eats and drinks, activities, spending money, flights, things like that. And I was like, instead of keeping all of this in one envelope, it's probably better to just do a whole binder by itself. So that's what we're gonna do. 
But first, let's count this money and make sure we have close to $643 as possible. Okay, got that all crossed off. Let's see if I can count this all in one go. I might have to use my calculator. Oh yeah, so let's put back 21s or $20. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we'll just take a 5 and put this all back in here for a total of $20 that we used for change. I like to keep the ones at the front. It's quite a few ones already, and some of it has been consolidated, not a lot. Yeah, only a couple of a couple of times. Um, but I will count this at the end of the year, but I'm not going to count it right now. Okay, we have 100, 200, oh boy, 50s. Um, so what is that, 250? Actually, let me just use my calculator. That will be more accurate instead of me trying to count it individually. I could, but that is going to take me a hot second. So <laughs> we have one 100, 150 and 50s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300 in 20s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33. Hey, look at that, 643. So right on the dot, um, I'm not worried about the 83 cents, so I will be taking $643 back to the bank and paying off, well, I will leave 60 of it in my checking account to repay my buffer and 583.83 will be paid on our credit card balance. All right, so we can set that aside. Don't need the calculator, well, at least not currently. And then I'm gonna set this aside too, actually, I'm going to set this just back here because what we're going to do is we're going to take, oh, we already took the envelope out. Okay, so we're going to scoot that up. So I have this envelope, and I'm going to do a quick, I got this just off of Amazon. This is just a black um, binder. which is very similar. Actually, it is exactly like this one. So this green one, I really, really like. Another thing I didn't really like about this binder is that it has a lot of savings challenges in it and these types of um, uh, envelopes and stuff with the zipper envelopes make it kind of bow out in the center. It kind of bows out a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but anyway, so I wanted a, a little bit nicer, cleaner one. This one was really nice. It lays flat. So I wanted to buy one exactly like it. Um, well, it's the same brand anyway. And it does come with like extra budget sheets and envelopes, which is cool. But I already had my own. So, this is nice and stiff. I'm going to set this up. I actually do have, and I made myself a little, these are the envelopes that I got. That I've created for this. Um, I made myself a little dashboard. So it says a successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. So I thought that was so cute. And uh, it says anniversary savings trips. It's similar to the other dashboards that I have, but I created this one instead of the other one um, somebody else created for us. So, or I purchased from somebody else. All right, so we have lodging which we're expecting to pay around $1,100. I actually got a pretty good deal, was able to get 15% off of our total lodging, so it's gonna be around 980 bucks, but hey, this total amount will cover that. Then uh, eating and drinking out is gonna be <laughs> very expensive. $1,500 is probably actually not gonna be a lot. I know you're probably thinking, what, but when you're going to Las Vegas, and I don't know if you've ever been to Las Vegas or eaten at any of their restaurants or anything like that, but it is expensive. It is very expensive. Um, 
if you go look, you know, just at like the steakhouse at the Wynn slash Encore or anything like that, just a normal, like it's not even a celebrity restaurant, which of course there are a lot of celebrity restaurants in Vegas, which we are totally hitting up. My husband being a professional chef, we're definitely going to be doing that. Um, but you'll see that even just a normal like steakhouse is going to cost you thousands of dollars or at least several hundred on like one meal. So this isn't probably going to be enough, but it's a start. Um, when we first calculated our budget, we were going off of that. And then we looked online and we saw that each restaurant had four stars next to it, you know, when it shows you how expensive a place is. So it's not going to be cheap. Shows, our budget is around $500. This is, we're going to go see the Blue Man Group and potentially a Cirque du Soleil performance, maybe a comedy show, we're not sure. Um, still looking at that and still deciding, but it's going to be around $500. Should not be more than that. It'll probably be more like $300. So, activities is our next one, which is only around $350. This is to go see the Titanic Museum or the Titanic exhibit that they have there. They have a Botanic Gardens there, a bunch of other like different things you can do. You can, you know, go on the gondola, uh, go shopping, stuff like that. So that's what that's going to be for. Spending money, of course, however much we can save, that's the goal, but at least want to have around 800 bucks. So let's put this in here. It's looking so cute. And then this is probably what we'll take to Las Vegas, or at least we'll take some of it. Maybe we'll take one or two envelopes out of it. We may not take all of it because there's going to be like $5,000 in here, 4000 something like that, um, 4200 but hopefully more. So what I'm going to do is take this out and put it in each one of these envelopes um, and, and just like disperse it. So... Let's see, we have, how much should we say? 200, 350, 70, 80, 86, 386. So let's see, we already paid for our lodging. So I think I'll just start building that up. I'll put 200 in here, cause we definitely need food, eats and drinks and stuff. That's like a really big category. Yeah, and then shows, we'll put like 50 in here. Since some of these budgets are not that big, they won't take that long. It's basically going to be that we're going to have to save around $300 a week or so to make this work. Um, and then if it doesn't, you know, we've already booked our flights, which is great. That's why you don't see that envelope in here. And we have already... Um, paid for part of our hotel, well, just a small portion, um, as well as, what was the other thing? I think those are the only things we paid for. Yeah. Which is the, the biggest, you know, hang up is figuring out the dates, purchasing the flights and getting the hotel. Everything after that is like, you literally could eat at Subway the whole time. So it's fine. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, it's fine. It's fine. Let's put... Let's see, activities, let's put, we'll put 26 in there. Cause that also doesn't, can't get this open. Um, you only need $350 in that to make it complete. So I'm not super worried about stuffing that. It'll get full relatively. And then let's put 110 in spending money. That'll be great. So I will be stuffing this for the next three months. So it'll be September, October, November, and then it, we're going the first week of December. So we won't have like December to save. Although if we use a credit card for a lot of this, we can come pay the credit card back later, you know, at, at the end of the December when we come back. Um, but what I'll do is I'll save for the next three months and just put as much in these categories as possible. Um, and extra money that we have, extra bonus money that we get, um, I do have some side hustles and stuff like that will all go in this new snazzy travel binder. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching today. That wraps up this video where I did a cache unstuffing as well as setting up my travel binder and my anniversary binder with our savings challenges there. So I really appreciate you hanging out with me. If you made it this far, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I really look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.